You have triads 5A and B on page nine in your white packet. First thing you wanna do with division is keep this guy the same. Don't even start factoring anything yet. Change this to multiplication. Flip this second fraction. Put the three X squared minus 18 X on top. Put the six minus X on the bottom. Go over to B. Keep the first fraction the same. Change to times. Flip x plus 5, x minus 6. That's step one. Now you're back to what we just did a little while ago, multiplying rationals. Factor the numerators and the denominators. Cancel what you can. Multiply the top. Multiply the bottom. All right? If you're watching at home on the video, you can uh, pause it and go ahead and factor everything in both problems, top and bottom. And we're back. If you didn't pause it at all, you cheated. But here we go. Everything has been factored in both problems. Take a look at all those and make sure they match up with what you did. These are two separate problems, so we're not looking for things to cancel between the problems. Keep them separate. The one on the left, I think the only thing that matches is the x minus 6. The one on the right, I think the x minus 6 cancels the x minus 6. And this x plus 5 cancels that x plus 5. As long as the whole thing matches, you're good to go. So let's do the one on the right first. Last man standing is 2x. If you graphed this in y1, it would look like the line 2x. But guess what it would have in it? Holes at negative 5 and 6. There'd be, there'd be little blips on the graph where y wouldn't exist. Okay. Uh, the one on the right, 3x is left in the numerator times 1. Negative 1 times x, negative x, times x plus 9. I did negative 1 times x, negative x, times x plus 9. If you leave your answer like that, I'll, I'm fine with it. Uh, if you wanted to write it as 3x over negative x squared minus 9x, you could as well. Negative x squared minus 9x. Again, I'm okay with either of these as your answer.